Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. The plan was to use this LPF cannibalize from a ASU FT757GX many many years ago. But the relay contacts were all tarnished and there was no point in looking for that type. So I made two piggyback boards with whatever relay was available. These are TE, Texas Instruments Relays. Cost me about a dollar twenty-five each. Here you'll see different views of the LPF assembly with the new relays. The rat's nest was unavoidable. Looks shabby but it worked. SWR of LPF alone is good on the lower bands but a bit high at 1.6, 14 and above. This is a view from the side and at the back you have the antenna port, a DC input and then uh, the USB ports for mouse and keyboard or for the sound card. And also a key line for the amplifier and here you will see the LPF. I need to tidy up all the wiring. Uh, this is still in the test mode. Here I have the one of the QRP amplifiers connected. This is one type which I tried and I removed this and this is the fan for the entire thing because the whole thing heats up quite a bit and now you can see the uh, different uh, type of uh, QRP amplifier which is what is in place now and I'm using this. This I mounted inside a case with a copper uh, heat spreader. I'll now make the output measurements with the LPF connected uh, in circuit. I have bypassed the QRP amplifier which is right at the bottom. This one. And uh, this is the LPF. And the output of the radio berry goes directly to the LPF and from the LPF it goes to the output and that goes to my spectrum analyzer, Tektronic spectrum analyzer. But this is how I have placed the fan because the fan is fixed underneath here. It comes from this side when it is in place. I didn't want to keep a temporary fan so I'm just using the same fan to cool it down. This is the output. We have the USB connectors, RF output to the antenna and the DC supply and I am using uh, an external attenuator here. Uh, currently I have put a 40 dB in line. Since the output of this is very low, I am not using a directional coupler. I'm going through this attenuator to the spectrum analyzer, Tektronics. This is the scan width from 500 kilohertz to 5 megahertz and the output is minus 22 0.4 so you re remove the uh, 40 dB attenuation that is in place so we are still getting about uh, 22 dBm on 160 meter band so here you should be able to see it clearly as indicated it is minus 22.4 dBm and we have the 40 dB attenuator in place so that's an output of 22 dBm on the 160 meter band now I am sending an output on the 80 meter band approximately 3.7 megahertz here and the output is minus 23.2 dBm as you can see here again uh, keep that uh, 40 dB attenuation in mind now this is on the 40 meter band and the output is minus 21.6 dBm now this is the output on 20 meter band and again the output is minus 22 dBm take uh, 40 dB attenuation and that gives us 22 dBm output this is on the 15 meter uh, band and the output is 21.2 dBm. The total output will be about uh, 21 dB, uh, dBm. And you can see there are no spurs or harmonic seen here at this level. Here we can see the output on the 10 meter band. Again the output is minus 24.4 dBm. For an on the air test, I will be using this desktop USB microphone, mouse, there's no keyboard connected because there's no other provision there. All the ports are used up and I'll be using this LP100A for the power measurement. LPA3, you are made from V3TW. Victor Echo 3 Tango Whiskey. This is VA3, you have made. How copy stand? Over. Oh, you sound great, Prem. What would you like to do? Okay, uh, as I mentioned after our chat this morning on the band, I did have a, a long QSO with uh, 
one of the net controllers. In fact, he went on and on. Finally, we had to give an opportunity for the other uh, check-ins and uh, thought of meeting up later. He is also building uh, uh, Radio Berry. So right now, currently, I'm using uh, Radio Berry. Output is about uh, 13 watts stand, a little more than uh, what it was this morning. 13 watts as uh, read by my LP100A and I'm using a QRP amplifier in the output and the microphone is a desktop USB mic meant for uh, vocals, vocal recordings uh, stand. Uh, go ahead please. Victor Echo 3 Tango Whiskey, this is VA3 UMA, over. Okay, VA3 UMA from V3 TW. Well, very good. Yeah, it actually came back to me. Uh, Larry Sipsa, N8LP, I think, is the originator of the LP1100. Okay, Prim, are we finished for today then? Yes, uh, Stan, uh, for today we are done. I'll just let it uh, sit for some time, operate it, and then uh, think of making any changes, if at all. Uh, Stan, go ahead, please. Hey, uh, uh, Prem, I'll let you go. Always like chatting with you, and I'm sure we're going to uh, hook up again uh, with the next challenge that you have. Okay, 73 for now. Uh, VA3 UMA from VE3 TW. 73, Prem. 73 Stan, thank you once again. This is Victor Alpha 3 Uniform Mike Alpha signing clear and closing down. Bye bye.